everyone, welcome back to me the channel. So today I thought I would do another tag for you guys. And this time it's the closet confidential tag, just because I thought it would be fun to share a little bit more about my closet with you guys. I also really, really want to know what you want me to film a video about in the next few weeks. Let me know if you have any video requests in the comment section below. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it and hit the subscribe button below if you're not already subscribed. So we can start with the first question. What is the oldest item in your wardrobe? And I thought long and hard about this because I really, since I'm a YouTuber and a blogger, I buy and get a lot of new stuff often. So I sell out my closet also often. So I really don't have that much old items in my closet, but the oldest one I could think of was this one. It's a golden sequin dress from Zara that I think is from 2011, 2012 or something. I've had it in my closet for a long, long time and I remember using it at a new, at a new year's eve for ages ago. So this sequin piece I think it's the oldest in my closet. I couldn't find any older that I could think of. Number two, what is the newest item? And I have two new items that I picked up today. And that is Cune pairs of shoes from Zara. These ones in pink with yeah flowers. And these ones in black and yellow that I featured in my fashion wish list video. Also from Zara. Both pretty nice for this season, I think. That's my newest items. Number three, what is the most expensive item? And as I've talked about before, that is of course my Chanel 255. This, I didn't pay all that much for it because it was bought in Tokyo and it's a lot cheaper there, but it's definitely the one, the one thing I would get the most of, I would get the most for if I would ever sell it, but I won't. But it's definitely the most expensive thing in my closet. Then what was the biggest bargain? It's number four. And that is my Balenciaga City. I got this one at 30% off in Gothenburg. I think it's like four years ago. And that's definitely the biggest bargain I've ever done. I've never seen this bag on sale, nor before or after. And I'm so happy that I got it on 40% off because I never thought that would happen. And I love the color still and I love everything about this one and that's my biggest bargain. Next question is what was the biggest waste of money? And I, since I sell a lot of items, I can't think of the biggest waste of money because I never think that I wasted money because I sell them and then I kind of get the money back for it. Not all of it of course, but a lot. But the thing I can think of is the neon yellow Prensa PS1 or 11 or anything I once had. I bought that one but I bought it on 70% off, so it doesn't count, I think, because I sold it for almost the same price as I bought it for. But that's maybe the biggest waste of money. What is the most affordable, cheapest item that you use a lot? The most affordable, cheapest item that I use a lot is definitely my vintage Levi's. These ones have been used so much since I bought them in Stockholm in May 2016. I think I almost have used them, I don't know, but I've used them so much and they were vintage so I think I bought them for like 600 nux, which is like 60 pounds or something and that's really really cheap I think. So these ones definitely. Then the next question is what is your three favorite items right now? And I think I'm gonna repeat myself now but the first out is the Aquazura sandals in nude and pink. Number two is my Gucci bag, which I won't talk anymore about because I've talked about it in two videos so far. And the last thing on my list is this pink suede jacket from Gestus. I haven't used it yet because I just got it and it's way too warm right now, but wait a couple of weeks and I'm definitely gonna use it a lot. This one is so nice. So these are my three favorite items right now. What is your favorite item that you've gotten as a gift? That is my Gucci Soho Disco Bag. 
that I got for my birthday from my fiance. I think it was in 2013 maybe, 2014, yeah something like that. So this, I think it's so cute and I still love it and I still wear it a lot. What is the most comfortable item? Again, back to my Levi's jeans. Definitely the most comfortable item in my closet if you don't think about my sweatpants and everything. If you think about the things that I wear outside my home, that's definitely the Levi's jeans. And those are the ones I always wear whenever I want to feel comfortable and just want to relax or I have a slow Sunday or I'm really tired or anything, I wear my Levi's. So that's my most comfortable jeans or the most comfortable piece ever. What is the most outrageous colorful item in your closet that you absolutely love? I have a lot of colored clothes, clothes in my closet, but not like crazy colored, not like neon or really, really bright colors. Have one red dress from Sandro. I'm not that person who wears a lot of red. I really don't like red that much, but this dress from Sandro is so nice and I love it. It's kind of short, so I think I would wear it with the jeans now because it's gotten shorter when I washed it but I think I'll have to wear it with jeans because this is the most crazy colorful item in my closet. Not that crazy, huh? Number 11, what is the most uncomfortable item but you would take the pain because you love it? That is another red thing. These heels from Aquazura are to die for and I love them, especially in this color, but they are uncomfortable. This strap here is uncomfortable and this high heel with no height here is uncomfortable, but it's worth it. Where do you shop the most at? So I shop quite a lot of places. I shop a lot at Zara, H&M, Big Book, Lindex. I shop at Mango, I Sandstrom, Höyer, Eger. A lot of stores around in Oslo. I shop a lot at Topshop when I'm out traveling, River Island. But I think maybe my favorite stores right now are Zara. I love all their items, I love their clothes, their shoes, everything. Zara is just perfect. Pick your favorite black item and your favorite white item. Favorite black item, again with the Chanel bag. I don't like black bags and I don't like black at all, she says, wearing all black. But <laughs> this is my favorite black item. And my favorite white item that I don't use that much is this lace top from Isabel Morant. I'm actually selling this because I don't wear it that much, but I love it. But I don't want to keep it in my closet just because I love it and think it's pretty. I want to really get the use out of it. So if I have an occasion where I don't, I haven't sold it and I want to use it, I am going to use it. But for now, I think I've been using, I think I've used it like two times. And for the price this was, that's not good. But that's definitely my favorite white item. Something else you love that everyone else hates. I don't think I have that kind of thing that everyone everyone else hates. Not that I can think of, so I'm not that fun. Maybe sweatpants, but not everyone else hates them. But a lot of people don't like wearing sweatpants, but I love it. And this last question, something that you're excited to wear soon. And we're back to the new in. These Sara heels. I'm excited to wear this. It's raining outside right now, but I'm crossing my fingers that it won't rain tomorrow so that I can wear them because these are so nice. That was all the 15 questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment down below if you've ever done the Classic Confidential tag and I'll go watch your video if you've done it. And yeah, leave me a comment below on which video you want to see me do next and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Click my subscribe button here if you're not already subscribed and I leave a couple of other videos here for you to go watch. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.